Hello and welcome back to Mars CPCS team. Today I am going to talk briefly about Soto syndrome. Guys, before starting this, I would request you to subscribe to our channel that is All or None Law. Uh, there are plenty of videos in our channel so that if you subscribe, you will be notified and each and every day you can revise your interesting topic and very difficult topics also. So just try this, definitely it will help you. Okay, let me start with this Soto syndrome. It's also called as a cerebral gigantism it's a, and is a rare genetic disorder characterized by excessive physical growth during the first two to three years of life. The disorder may be accompanied by autism, mild mental retardation, delayed motor cognitive and social development, hypotonia and speech impairment. So the, the, uh, the stretcher, the height of the patient will be uh, more. Uh, more than 95 percentile that's very important sometimes 90 percent more than 90 or you can consider more than 95 also so one of the cause for um, uh, tall uh, stretcher okay uh, children with a Soto syndrome tend to be large at birth and are and are often taller heavier and have a larger head that's a microcephaly uh, then then is a normal of their age okay signs of the dis this disorder which vary among the individuals include a disproportionately large long head with a slightly protrusive forehead large hands and feet uh, hypertelorism that is abnormal increased uh, distance between the eyes down slant slanting eyes clumsiness and upward gait and unusual aggressiveness or irritability may also occur although most of the cases of the Soto syndrome occur sporadic sporadically families familial cases have been also reported it is similar to weber syndrome guys thank you so much for watching my video take care see you soon in the next amazing awesome video with us on mrcpcs team take care